In this video, we're gonna learn about the matplot function in R. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and generate my vector and matrix, so that way we can go ahead and use the matplot function. Now, if you need help with vectors and matrices, I got video training on, trainings on those, and I recommend checking those out before you watch this one. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and generate my vector, put it into matrix format, go ahead and give it some column names, some row names, and then we'll take a look at it. So I've got for this particular example, we're pretending like we got five students here, Nathan, Chris, Amanda, Bill, and Cindy, and then they've taken five tests, test one, test two, test, test three, test four, test five, right? And those are the scores that they got on the test and so on. So there's, there's our data points, and now we can go ahead and plot them. Um, real quick, I'll go ahead and run the, the help for matplot, and it gives us a bunch of information and arguments we can go ahead and enter. But the main thing I wanted to point out here is that matplot, it focuses on the columns. So that's what it's doing, plot columns of matrices. So like column one, column two, three, four. And so oftentimes you actually wanna be plotting the rows instead. So I wanna be plotting Nathan, Chris, Amanda, Bill, and Cindy instead of test one, test two, test three, test four, test five. So that's typically, um, or there's many instances where you're trying to plot the rows instead of the column. So you need to go ahead and revert or convert your matrix uh, and it's called transposing and to so to do it it's a t t function and then you throw in the name of your matrix and you run that real quick and now we see that we have nathan chris amanda bill cindy as the columns and then tests the test numbers as the rows so now we'll be plotting with the names of the people instead of the the names of the tests so if you need to convert your rows into columns or vice versa you use the transpose which is just a t and the, the parentheses and then your matrix in there and just like that you've you've converted the rows to columns and so on so that's a handy little function to keep in your your kit bag there now we get into matplot and in all honesty you probably won't use matplot that much um, there's much better graphing functions like or packages like ggplot ggplot's much more powerful a lot easier to use than matplot matplot's like hardwired into r which is why it's kind of handy but there, there's so many better packages that you probably won't use it but i wanted to show it to you anyway just just so you know that it is out there and so now i'm going to go ahead and run the matplot function with my m1 matrix transposed so like i have it down here we're going to go ahead and run that and let's see what pops out the other end so here we go here's my my chart here and it's kind of hard to read and understand what's going on but hey we got some stuff going going down uh, and and plotted out and everything like that so right now we can go ahead and add some arguments to our matplot function so i'm going to keep the data this first argument is the data which is my matrix that's transposed uh, then we have the type so there's a bunch of different types you can go ahead and use and i'll link to some matplot resource down below if you want to learn more about it again you'll probably use ggplot or something else to plot your stuff but if you want to use matplot you can do that uh, so this will be the the type of plot we're going to go ahead and do pch is the pictures and this just references a certain set of pictures that we're going to go ahead and use and plot and then col is color and then we have a vector here representing the colors we want to go ahead and use for our plot so i'm going to go ahead and plot it real quick and now we see something that's a little bit easier to to read and understand so we see some points and you can see this is test one test two test three test four test five across the bottom here and then these points that are plotted are the scores of each individual person so somebody's represented by the blue diamond somebody by the green triangle somebody by the black squares and so on um so but that that's the question right now right is who's actually represented by these these shapes and these colors so that's when you'll want to go ahead and add a legend now to add a legend we're going to use the legend function so this is something i want to point out that these are two separate functions uh operating so that they, they're two different things doing stuff at the same time but this is where matplot really lacks is because it's not connected your legend is not connected to your graph you're like forcing it or manually connecting them together but it's not automatically connected together so 
you can mess stuff up pretty easily if you have some some different settings from your legend compared to your your mat plot so we'll, we'll go through that and i'll show you what i mean exactly in just a minute here but i just want to point out that these are two separate functions and they're not connected so if you're using mat plot and a legend you need to make sure that you're using the same colors the same pictures and so on so anyway the first thing is we're going to set up where we want our legend to show and then we have our pictures that we're going to use and you want to use the same pictures that you're using in your mat plot otherwise you're going to run into issues and then for the legend we have to give it the name of the values of our colors here and in my case it's the row names of m1 which is this right here row names m1 so it's nathan chris amanda bill cindy so that's what i'm referencing here i could of course go ahead and throw in a vector here if i wanted to and type out the names or data points that i want to use but right now i'm just going to use this this value right here to reference right up here so hopefully that makes some sense and then we have the colors that we're representing and they have to be the same colors that we have in our matplot function here so if i run it we get our legend and you can see how it sits over top of the chart so kind of gets in the way i could go ahead and move it to the bottom left if i want to and now it's down in the bottom left but I got to replot this and then run this and now it's down here in the bottom left so now we can see the colors and the shapes that people are represented by and we can see how their scores are doing and so on uh, but what i want to show you is if like i changed the colors to let's just say two through five and seven and let me run this again and this again now we see that we got some different colors going on so nathan is now a pink or peach square uh, Chris is a green circle there's no green circles up here Amanda's a yellow triangle there's no or not yellow a blue triangle there's no blue triangles here so if you don't have the same numbers uh, for colors or pictures stuff's going to get funky or if you have different row or different legend names if you have different names in here uh, it's going to get really funky like here I'll just say fish and run that real quick and here so now we have a legend that has nothing at all to do with what we have plotted up here so that's what i'm saying is matplot and the legend are two completely separate functions that are going off and if you want them to sync together you have to make sure you're using these same exact values otherwise you can have a legend that means something completely different than what the plot actually is and by all means go ahead and mess around with it there's a ton of different plots you could go ahead and do like here's a different one um throw in this one and so on so there's a bunch of bunch of options but again you probably won't use matplot too much but i wanted to show it to you just in case you're interested and that's pretty much it for this video if you found it helpful i appreciate any sorts of likes comments subscribes anything like that and i hope you have a great rest of the day